Hi, and welcome to my WorkBee CNC Stratocaster Neck Part 1. I'm Nick Rogers, founder of NJR Custom Guitars. When I first started making guitars, I was using jigs and routers and just progressed on to CNC. My first video I uploaded to YouTube about making a guitar neck at the time of recording this one has had 52,000 views and it's a little out of date, things have moved on. I don't do it the same way now, so this is a more modern version of how I make a Stratocaster style neck. There's probably going to be about three or four videos, so if you don't want to miss any, then hit the subscribe button and the little bell for a notification when I upload the next one. So we start with a 3D model. This is my 3D model of a Stratocaster style neck. I modelled this in SolidWorks and have now bought it into Fusion 360. One main difference that I do these days is I pre-glue the fretboard to the neck blank and then the truss rod is inserted from the back with a skunk stripe. So both surfaces have been planed and then I go over them with a scraper just to ensure them to be nice and flat. I glue them up and clamp them overnight. Because the fretboard ends up with a radius on it, I have to stick these small blocks around the edge for clamping once the block is turned over. I plane one edge of the neck blank to act as a datum face. I've made this location jig out of MDF that screws and dowels to the workbee table. The jig has four 10mm dowel holes to locate the workpiece. I use two dowels marked A to machine the top and then the dowels marked B when the neck is flipped over to machine the back. You may have noticed that my work B is not standard, I have upgraded it to linear rails. There is a video available on my channel about the upgrades that I carried out. The first cutter path is just a simple run round the perimeter. I do this about half a mil deep just to ensure everything's lined up so I don't waste a decent bit of maple. The thin blue line here represents the cutter path, it's the centre of the cutter, and I use an 8 mil end mil. Once I'm happy about the line up and everything's contained within the neck blank, then I machine down using the 8 mil end mil down to the face of the headstock. This video clip shows how important it is just to do a quick line up cut to start with because it's very close to the edge of the fretboard as you can see. Incidentally this is a piece of flame maple I'm using as a fretboard on this particular neck. Step 3, roughing out the headstock. I use adaptive clearing for this with an 8mm end mill. This is roughing the headstock down to within half a millimetre of its finished size. This has a step over of 3mm and it's cut in 10mm deep and this is the reason I went for linear rails to be able to achieve this sort of strength. My original work beam machine was quite capable of making this neck but just had to take smaller cuts. The end result would be exactly the same. It's just with linear rails can take bigger cuts and therefore it speeds things up for me. Next up, the fret marker dots. This I machine with a 4mm end mill. The inlays are a tack fit and I glue them in with super glue. While the glue is drying I will cut the nut slot and then it's on to the tuner holes. The 
and we move on to radius in the fretboard and finishing the headstock. All done with an 8mm ball nose cutter with a parallel cutter path. This has a tiny step over of about 0.25 of a millimetre. Some of you may have noticed that my 3D model didn't have any fret slots in it. This is because I do a sketch on a plane above the fretboard with all the centre positions of the fret slots on it and then they are projected down onto the surface of the model. This creates a curved cutting path of the same curvature as the neck. My work is a 750 by 1000 from oozenest.co.uk. I can't recommend those guys enough, so if you're thinking about buying a work bee, that's the place to go. The after sales service is second to none, and they've helped me on numerous occasions. That's it for part one. Join me in part two where we machine the back of the neck. Thank you for watching.